One thing I love doing and watching is like these videos that are like these quick cuts or these quick transitions. It's this fast pace, all around, just beautiful masterpiece that just comes together. I feel like when you see these types of videos, even if it's like a time lapse or a hyperlapse or just something moving fast and it cuts with the music and it just goes along with whatever, what theme you're trying to do, it really captures your eye. It captures the viewer's eye. And I've grown to love these a lot more and more. I started implementing this more when I was doing like summer camp videos and then now I'm doing just random videos. It made me realize how much I love them, but I just didn't do them. I don't know why. In regards to the video that you just saw, that video was for Durham, North Carolina. They celebrated their 150th birthday as a city on April 10th, I believe. I want to explain how I did certain things so that way you can go out there and do it yourself or try to do something, add your own flair to it or whatever. So anytime I choose a song, I literally just go through, whether it's Epidemic Sound, Artlist, whatever it is, and I just listen to the music and somehow ideas just form. And so I listened to the song uh, Siona by Oi and I don't know, it, this fast pace, just all this stuff came to mind. So as you just saw, I have it separated into different sections because when I heard the song, I always go in Premiere and I use markers to mark out you know, when it cuts on beat or when I want it to cut on beat. Um, and in this case, the song goes, you know, all that kind of stuff. So at the very beginning, I'm literally just walking up to the center of the camera and I always post all of my Instagram posts. I try to do like a loop just because I think loops are also just something that's just amazing. As I walk to the center of the camera, I just stand there for about three to five seconds and I did this in eight different spots around the city of Durham I think it was eight if you look at the raw footage it's just me walking to the center of the camera in the editing part I just took each one and lined it up accordingly and then timed it with the music this next section is literally the same thing except I'm not changing locations I'm changing my shirt so the first one if you notice I changed locations but I had the same shirt on and this one I changed my shirt but not the same location you can't see it on the ground but I have my phone on the ground to make sure I was standing in the exact same spot and my I had my bag to like the right or whatever that had a bunch of my shirts in there and I just switched and stood in front of the camera for about five seconds and then made it on my way third section there's three different things going on the first thing is I'm using the crop tool to bring in this time lapse that I took and so the way I have it sliced up you can actually kind of see like a little mess up I had but I I was I'm just honest I'm I was too lazy to change it. <laughs> but with the little doo -doo 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 thing, um, there, I think there's eight of them. And so I literally just took 100 divided by eight and then lined up the percentages accordingly. It's a, lot, it's a little bit of math, but once the time lapse comes on the screen, there's a little ch -ch 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 sound. And with that, I took a picture of myself sitting on this little circular thing that they have at, it's the five points area of Durham. I masked myself out. I'm just gonna be honest, it was a poor job masking, but I knew that with Instagram's quality, you really wouldn't be able to catch it as much unless you were really paying attention. Third and fourth section, so there's this book, and this book was like a representation of Durham's history, and it was launching on Durham's birthday, so it was just very cool, and I was glad to be a part of it. But I took the book, placed it on the ground in different spots around Durham, and just took an overhead picture. I did that with the big book and the miniature book with my picture on it. I lined them up, timed them to the music, and that's it. Fifth section, it actually ties in with the fourth section. With that, the book with the picture with the little indie filter or whatever, on the last one, I masked out the circle and underneath it, I was revealing the hyperlapse that I was doing. I just did a gimbal hyperlapse just because I needed to based off of the time I had that day. But all it's doing is it's scaling into that picture and then until that circle fills the frame, then it just reveals the entire thing. And so thus, I have one hyperlapse going forward, one hyperlapse coming backwards, and that's and that's pretty much all that section is. It was kind of easy, but I mean, I just love doing hyperlapses, so I had to include that some way. This next section, I cannot remember what number one, I think is six. This one was probably the easiest one. I literally put my uh, camera on a tripod and <laughs> I got in front of it, took a step, or took three steps, stopped for about two seconds, took three steps back, stopped for about three seconds. And I did this until I had eight different little spots because I needed eight things to match the 
voice cracked a little bit. So in the editing process for that, I mean, it's I literally just cut out when I wasn't walking backwards, and so that way it just looks like I'm just kind of jumping. Because if you notice, when it, I start coming back towards the camera, it's literally the same thing. Um, that way it just saves me time. And because all this is happening so fast, it, you know, it just goes together very well. So I took a screenshot on my phone and it was literally just like layering all these things onto each other. And I took those layers into the next sec- Charlie, come on. I took those layers into the next section and so like all of these little Instagram things were here and then I put that inside my phone. So it's like an Instagram section or Instaception and a phone-ception at the same time. Side note, if you notice on when it's coming back in like all the way, like after it comes back in from the phone and it comes back to Instagram, when it starts going out, it's eight times, but when it comes back in, I had to time it correctly with the music. So I think it's like five times or I skip like a zoom in thing. Um, but it happens so fast that you barely even notice it. And this last little part, I just took a freeze frame of me standing there and I used uh, different adjustment layers and just added some, I think it's the color balance, color something, nah, I don't know, I'll put it right there. And Durham City flag is red, yellow, and blue in that order. And so that's the colors that were flashing. I don't know how many people pay attention to that, but that's what it was doing. And the final section, you can see Durham 150 come up because Durham is 150 years old. I used the crop tool once again to bring that up and red, yellow, blue had the same amount of stars that are on the Durham flag and the year that it was established. And then I had that fade at the end and it shows me walking up again like the beginning. Like I said, I wanted it to loop. And so that's pretty much it. I did all this in a day. The editing probably took like a two days maybe, um, I, I really don't know. But sometimes I just hear things and I think of things and then I just gotta go do it, you know what I'm saying? Consider subscribing if you're not already and please comment, like, and dance your way to the notification bell, like you got to. Like you just gotta dance your way there. I don't care if you like, if your computer's here, you back up and you're like, oh yeah, and then you hit the notification, you maybe you don't have to do all that. But thank you for watching and check this out real quick. Setting. I'm telling you the four channels I want to sponsor is so fun. Okay, here's the four that I want to sponsor Marina Estrella could be Estrella. She normally says hey guys It's your girl Marina and I and like I don't know how to say her last name, but you're the first one. Second one is Relly Moore Third Hey, one's Chan. let's one's Daniel go Daniel. <laughs>